have decided that I want to do this once a month to let everybody get physically fit and they are just wonderful. I want them to first know that age is nothing but a number and that you can get fit. And to walk, if it's ever anything that can keep you in shape, it's walking. The people that come out and the inspirational stories that you hear while you're walking and connecting with people, it's just an awesome experience while keeping in shape. We're trying to get our health together because we just had a child and we want to make sure that we're healthy, strong parents uh, in the years to come. I tell you, I think the older you get, the more you appreciate that you can get out here and do it. And this is where I came from to get here. I emphasize to a lot of young people today that the key is eating right and exercising. And you'll be able to live a good, enjoyable life. Events where patients are out walking and thinking just about being healthy in general is the best way to start thinking about improving your health. And so I'm just thrilled to be invited to participate and to meet people and let them know that the University of Maryland is happy to help them to be healthy. Becoming healthy, staying healthy, eating healthy, and exercising all makes the body live longer, makes you stronger, and also it wards off a lot of diseases, cancers, and all the other things that makes your body wear down over over time because of lack of exercise. I mean, look, look, look around you. Look at all these people that are here. She just brings out the community. They do all the goodness of their hearts to send a message to all young people and old people that we can be physically fit and take care of our communities and enjoy our beautiful city parks. We just want to encourage everybody to come on out here, take advantage of all our open spaces that we have. 270 parks across the city of Baltimore, and I'm ready to get walking. Thank you, Mr. Ernestine. It's folks like this, Ms. Ernestine, yes. that we have to continue to celebrate and have to continue to live through because it's critically important that we take her lessons of life, of taking care of her house, and ensuring that the folks around her take care of their health as well uh, to better our community. I'm out here supporting Ms. Ernestine because she's phenomenal. Um, you know, she's 78 years old, she puts on these walks, and this is the key to actually saving and, and creating our existence, maintaining our existence in our communities. We need to learn to maintain healthy lifestyles. This for so many people it's just a wonderful experience and for it to be repetitious is even more wonderful because we need sustainable activities and it doesn't cost anything to walk you can do it every day you're out among friends and among people and it's just a wonderful community event walking running any type of fitness that's free is the best thing for the community you do it with your family you do it with people in the community you do it with your friends group and make the city a better place i'm so excited to see so many people but in particular so many people of color and women and men out here being excited about health i know this thing is going to grow every year every year it's about seeing people living healthy being healthy and doing something different so we just wish that this continues for for the years to come and that we step out of Baltimore and touch many more cities and we can make it a worldwide event and change lives globally. With the help of my fitness son, Chauncey Whitehead, he has truly enhanced the wall. Chauncey and I care so very much about others. It's not about us, it's about other people.